before we can get to the fun part of actually, you know, going on the command line, running dbt, and, you know, getting some glorious output into our BigQuery database, um, we've got to do some setup in the Google Cloud Console, which is console.cloud.google.com, and then you'll want to navigate to the, uh, the project that you've created. This one is called ADP Apprenticeship. Um, so you'll want to go to the, to the cloud platform, and basically what you're going to want to do here is create a service account within your project that dbt can read so that when the dbt script runs it can connect to your bigquery database and start writing uh, writing tables and views and data to your to your database um, and if you're and if you're not going to use bigquery down the line you know dbt supports snowflake postgres uh, redshift and i think a few other databases now um, or maybe that's it but anyways, they support a bunch of other databases, so pretty much any database you're, you're likely to be using at work, you can use dbt with. So it's by no means a, a BigQuery-specific thing. But to get set up, you know, there are instructions, again, in the docs that I'll link to that are really helpful. Uh, but what we're going to do is create a service account here. Go to the IAM and Admin window, Service Accounts, Create Service Account. Uh, we're going to name it uh, dbt, and we're going to, I think we're going to call it a BigQuery, let's call it a BigQuery admin. What do they ask you for it? Mm, doesn't say exactly, so we're just going to say BigQuery admin. We're going to get a private key in JSON. And we're going to create it. So this is going to download a, a JSON file uh, with your service account information. And we're basically going to crack open uh, that service account file right, let's open that up see how it looks and yeah basically what this what this has is all the information that we need uh, to run dbt on our bigquery database so we're basically going to take each of these fields that the key files spat out we're going to go back into our terminal and when you created your project it says you know some it has some instructions here about setting up what's called your profiles.yaml file for dbt and it has a command here to run to open the folder which will open it in finder once that's open you'll want to crack open your profiles.yaml file and here's kind of like a demo scaffolding for a profile setup in, in dbt basically you'll name your your project or your profile we're, we're going to call this agency data pipeline and i'll show you later how you'll reference that in your project um, but you can basically set your outputs in terms of what database you're going to write for your run so you dbt has the idea of you could set you could call these anything but i like to call them dev and prod for production or development um, so if you're working on your models and you want to test them out, maybe you have a different uh, BigQuery uh, data set that you're going to use. For purposes of this project, we're, we'll just keep them consistent. Um, but when we get into like pr productionalizing your models later on, uh, we'll overwrite some of this. But to start with, you know, you have your key file open and we're just going to Yeah, we actually just need to reference the path to that. Um, so we're going to rename this and I'm going to put it in a different path. So like, you know, users, David Kravit, etc. I'll put that in a different path. We're going to set our schema uh, to agency data pipeline. Since if we look in BigQuery, that's the data set that we want to be writing to. Um, and our project ID is whatever your 
the project ID you created in the BigQuery console is, you can find it. Um, you can find it here in the URL. So it's just ADP apprenticeship here. So agency data pipeline. Uh, the number of threads to use. Um, I usually keep this at four. That just means your your models will run faster because it's threading. Uh, if that's airing out for you, you can you can lower it to two or one, or you can see what happens if you crank it up to five, six, seven, eight, whatever whatever you feel like. Um, basically, with this target, the last thing, this target setting in your profiles file, this just says by default when you run for this profile, which target do you want to use? Do you want to use dev or prod? Um, so usually, yeah, you know, like I said, we'll get into productionalizing this later. Um, so if you go into your actual uh, dbt folder now for your project um, and you open up the dbt project.yaml file in that folder, you can see now um, where you set this profile. So and this is all laid out. They, they you know the dbt team set up really good kind of helpful comments here. But you're going to say whatever your profile here is, agency data pipeline, you just set that in your, pro, in your dbt project.yaml file. Um, and that's all you really need to do to connect it um, to your BigQuery database. So again, I just need to set, I just need to move my key file to another folder and set this path. But then you can save that and you'll be good to go. So that's really all for setting up your uh, your BigQuery service account and setting up your profiles file and setting that in your project file. Um, in the next video, we'll actually we'll actually get this up and running. And I'll show you what this what this means to run DBT and and why it was important to set this up.